Well, this book, folks, is the rabbi who found Messiah. And thank you. Thank you. Not just not just a rabbi. Yeah. I mean, we had Kurt Schneider here, but uh, this rabbi is the most revered rabbi in recent history in Israel itself, right? Yes, yes. Yitzhak is his name? Yitzhak. Which is Isaac. Kaduri. Yitzhak Kaduri, Kaduri. Who lived to be 106 to 108. They weren't quite sure, were they? Right. M most people have it reported at 108, but you're right. Some say 100, between 106 and 108. Well, he, was, he was an old fellow. <laughs> 108. Well, now, please, this book, uh, rather than me asking you questions in yeah. the beginning, there's a picture of him on the cover. Yes. Boy, everybody ought to have this. Christians and Jews need to get this book. Talk about Saul of Tarsus yeah. uh -huh. uh, and Rabbi Schneider. This man, well, talk us about how revered yeah. the man has been. Yes, thank you, Pat. Well, you know, we're living in prophetic times, I believe. Oh, yeah. And I think this is a great evidence of it. Let me, let me tell you about this guy. Yitzhak Kaduri is his name, 108 when he died. 300,000 people came to his funeral. The wow. president of Israel gave the eulogy. They shut the streets of Jerusalem down for, for almost two days because of the hundreds of thousands of people there at his funeral. And where they couldn't all be in one place. What, they just in all just the streets? All, they were on balconies, just on rooftops, everywhere they could get. To, to pay tribute yes, to this yes. rabbi. Because he was the most venerated rabbi in Israel's modern history. Um, he was there uh, before Israel was ever a nation, he was in the land. And then he's been through all of the wars, World War I, World War II, you know, 1948, the birth of Israel, every war that's been fought, very closely connected to Israeli political figures, uh, Ariel Sharon, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. In fact, he actually um, campaigned for Benjamin Netanyahu, so he was close to these guys. So this, this is not just some little obscure rabbi tucked away in the bowels of Jerusalem some, somewhere, but this guy, I like to call him the Billy Graham of the Jews in yeah, Israel. Yeah, because good, yeah. because this, uh, when, when Orthodox Jews in Israel see this book and see that picture, immediately they know who he is. In the same way if we had a book with mm -hmm. Billy Graham's picture yeah. on it or Pat Boone's picture on it. Yeah. But remember, he had said to his congregation and to the students in his yeshiva that I know who Messiah is. I've met him. I'm putting his name in a note. So one year later, 2007, on Kaduri.net, his ministry organization's uh, uh, big website, the note was posted. It was in Hebrew, of course. Israel Today ran a story on it and took a screen capture of the note and put it all over the Internet. Uh, news First Class, which is a Hebrew-only language, big news organization out of Jerusalem, they ran a story on it. The note was kind of encrypted, and he was famous for encrypting his notes, but his note was encrypted with instructions on how to decrypt the note. But you've got to remember now, Orthodox Jew, Orthodox Jewish organization and ministry. So here's this note on the website. But when it was encrypted, May I decrypted. just one yes. second. Encrypted means, if people don't know what that means, it's almost like a puzzle, but, but you're told how to solve the puzzle. Exactly. In fact, here's what it said. Let me just tell you. In, I'm going to speak it in English, but in Hebrew it said, He shall lead his people and prove that the word and the law are valid. Now, that's the sentence he left. Mm -hmm. And people looked at that. Oh, it says concerning the, it says concerning the, the letters of his name. Uh -huh. He shall lead his people and prove that the word and law are valid. So when people looked at that, they said, okay, well, that sounds like something about Messiah, but that's not the name. But then they looked at what he said concerning the letter abbreviation of his name comma, and then the rest of it. The rest of those words, in English it's a bunch of words, but in Hebrew it's only six words. Mm -hmm. So they took the first letter of each of those six words, the letter abbreviation, yep. and it's spelled Yehoshua. Yeah, which is which Jesus. Is, which is Jesus, which yeah. is the Hebrew word, which is the Hebrew word for Yeshua or, or Jesus. Yes. Now, when they decrypted that and saw that, his organization took the note down but, yeah. because, you know, the Orthodox Jewish message, message basically is based on the foundation that Jesus is not the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So when they saw that their Billy Graham said that Jesus is the Messiah, you know, Yehoshua, uh, they took the note down and, and ultimately destroyed the note. But it had already been screen captured and had they been reported upon.